Thank you. Now, if you've ever driven through the Western Cape between July and September, you'll have seen those magnificent carpets of yellow flowered canola fields. As healthy as they look in South Africa, all canola crops are grown from non genetically modified seeds. Now, this means that they're developed by traditional plant breeding without using genetic modification techniques, and they're subjected to a set of purity standards. So, next, we're about to meet a woman at the heart of this proudly natural South African product. It's remarkable to see the positive impact of women on typically male-dominated industries. Out on these canola fields, Izan Cross is literally planting seeds of change in the field of agriculture. Izan's built exceptional working relationships with farmers, customizing solutions to suit the unique requirements of the farm, and the farmers trust her knowledge. Izan, you're an agriculturist. What exactly does this mean? My job as an agriculturist is to ensure that every producer produces the highest possible yield for his particular circumstances. In order to achieve that, I assist uh, producers in decision making regarding planting techniques, cultivar decisions, fertilizer management, pest disease, weed control, all through to swathing, harvesting and then eventually the contracting of their seed. What's but your passion for agriculture? Well, I grew up on a farm, so agriculture has been part of my life from a very young age. I am living my passion because my job allows me to be in nature all the time. It allows me to be part of the farming community and it's just so rewarding to see something grow that you are part of. Your goal for your day-to-day -day work is to help farmers achieve the best yield possible by using best practice. How do you do this? Well, I always try my best to promote sustainable farming. I'm on the road all the time during the growing season, so if a farmer suspects that there's something wrong with his canola, it is my job to investigate the problem, identify the problem, and also recommend a solution for his problem. A winter crop, canola grows well in the Western Cape with a cooler, wet climate. Its hallmark are the yellow flowers, which bring such cheer in the cold months. Wow, Izan, for me as a Joburger, I have to tell you, this is the most magnificent thing I've seen. It's like walking through a computer wallpaper. <laughs> yes, and you are actually walking through one of the biggest canola camps in the whole Western Cape. Wow. Yes, which reminds me, I have something for okay. you. Okay, yes. yes. <laughs> A whole canola plant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You seem very passionate about the canola cultivar. Tell us more about the plant. People don't actually realize what the benefits are of canola included into both your diet and your crop rotation system. Canola actually means Canadian oil low in acid and when I refer to acid, I refer to uristic acid and for those people that don't know, uristic acid is very bad for your health. So canola actually fights inflammation in your body. If you include canola into your crop rotation system with wheat, it helps you to practice effective wheat control that result in 20% yield increases in your wheat phase. I'm looking at the plant, but I can't seem to figure out where the oil could come from. Most people think it comes from the flower, but it actually comes from the seed pods. Before we harvest the seeds, we have to wait until the husks dry out and then the seeds inside of the seed pod turn black. And that's when we know it's the correct moisture percentage. So then the tractors come in or the combines, they harvest the seeds, it gets exported to soil in Swellendam. It's certainly not easy blazing a trail in an industry that literally feeds our nation and is vital for survival both economically and physiologically. But Lizanne is hoping to inspire young girls and women to follow a career path in agriculture. Izan, for every Be Well product in homes across South Africa, you've had a hand in developing the canola crop that's going to produce the oil. So how do you feel when you see the final product? Yes, I'm very proud of our Be Well range and I'm also very proud to say that I only use Be Well products. We have a wide variety of oils, mayonnaises. We basically cater for every taste bud. What legacy are you hoping to leave in the field of agriculture? I just want every woman out there, if you're agriculture or any male-dominated industry, just don't be afraid to pursue your dream. 
With opportunity and support, women can venture into just about any career they choose. And it's up to us as a nation to encourage our girls to be like Izan and follow their passion. We're going. Let's go. We're taking us. <laughs>